So this question says the function f is defined by f of x equals mx plus b. Very important to realize. That should look familiar to you, and I'm going to write it here as y equals mx plus b, which is a form that we're most comfortable with, most commonly um, going to be taught. Where m and b are constants such that m is greater than or equal to 1. I'm going to just write that, n greater than or equal to 1. And b is between negative 7 and 7. So I'm just going to say negative 7 to 7. This is where b is. Okay, so what do we know about m and b? Well, we know that m is a slope. And that slope represents rise over run. And we know b is the y-intercept, which basically means where does a graph cross the y-axis? So I'm going to start searching through these answer choices to see which one of them matches what we've been told about this question. So... Um, Let's see, choice A looks like my y-intercept for choice A is down here, lower than negative 10, which means choice A cannot be correct, right? Because my y-intercept can only be between negative 7 and positive 7. It can't be lower than negative 10. For choice B, my y-intercept looks good. It looks like it's around 3 or so. And my slope, which I want to be greater than or equal to 1, well, if it were 1... I'd probably be about there, I would say. Um, and this line is lower than that, right? It's flatter than what I'd have with a one slope. So that's why B is gone. Hopefully that makes sense. The scale on these is a little weird, so you have to do a little bit of estimating. But maybe this larger choice C will help us to see it a little bit better. So basically I'm saying that this, this y-intercept here is like negative 3. And then if I go up one, which is up to negative two, and to the right one, I'd be, actually I'd be all the way over here. So that line will look like this. But you can see the black line is above that, which means maybe this is you know a bigger, we, we can be m is greater than or equal to one. So my slope is above, right? So this is, this is a m equals one slope. And the actual line is higher than that. So this is, must be a m is greater than one slope. So I like choice C. Let's just try choice D to make sure. Choice D, the y-intercept, looks like it's at 5. So if I went up to 6, and again, I'm calling this 6 because that's 4 and that's 8. And I went over, and this is 1. So I went over 1, I'd be here. So again, when I connect those dots, my black line is below, right? So again, if this is m equals 1, that means this is m is less than 1. So the only answer choice that gives me a slope that is greater than or equal to 1 and a y-intercept that is between negative 7 and positive 7 is choice C. So that is our correct answer.